Have you ever wondered what makes Airbus different from other aircraft manufacturers? In this video, we'll be revealing 10 fascinating facts that you might not know about Airbus. Airbus and Boeing have been fierce competitors in the commercial jet aircraft market for decades. While we all know that Airbus produces some of the most innovative and popular aircraft, there's so much more to the company than meets the eye. So let's explore 10 interesting things you may not know about Airbus. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community of aviation enthusiasts. Number 10. Airbus plans to launch a new series of zero-emission aircraft by 2035. Airbus has made a significant move in the area of carbon reduction and lower emissions by announcing a project to develop hydrogen-powered zero-emission aircraft. The company has proposed three aircraft designs and plans to select the first to be developed by 2025. This is likely to be either a regional turboprop or a larger turbofan aircraft with a passenger capacity of up to 200. Airbus's move towards zero emission aircraft is bold and necessary step towards a more sustainable aviation industry. Its development highlights the company's commitment to innovation and a more sustainable future for air travel. Number 9. Airbus operates one of the largest cargo transport aircraft in the world. Airbus's Beluga XL is based on an A330-200 airframe and offers an incredible 2,209 cubic meters of fuselage space, making it one of the largest cargo transport aircraft in the world. This cargo plane is vital for moving aircraft parts from suppliers around the world, and its significant cargo capacity underscores Airbus's commitment to ensuring a smooth and efficient supply chain for its customers. Its development highlights the company's focus on efficiency and innovation, paving the way for further advancements in air cargo technology. Number 8. Airbus also has extensive helicopter, space, and military divisions. While Airbus is a major player in the commercial aircraft market, it is also active in other aviation sectors. Its significant helicopter production makes it the largest helicopter producer globally, with products in civilian and military use in 150 countries. In defense, Airbus has long been involved in military tankers and refueling, with an A310 multi-role tanker transporter MRTT and an A330 MRTT. It has also been a partner in the Eurofighter military jet development. Airbus's foray into these other sectors highlights its versatility and adaptability to changing market demands. Number 7. Airbus has built the largest ever commercial aircraft. The A380 with its two decks and a typical three-class capacity of 544 passengers, was conceived as a competitor to Boeing's popular 747. Airbus achieved a significant milestone with the A380, which is an amazing engineering success and an important aviation milestone. However, despite its initial success, the A380 has not been as successful as hoped, with reduced demand anticipated post-2020. Nevertheless, the A380 remains a testament to Airbus's innovative and pioneering spirit in pushing the boundaries of aircraft design and engineering. Number 6. Airbus has entered the regional market with the A220. Airbus acquired the Bombardier C-Series in 2018 and has gone further into the 100-150 seat market with the A220. This smaller aircraft has seen particular success during the slowdown of 2020 and into 2021, with its lower capacity and excellent efficiency making it ideal for post-COVID recovery. The A220 has the potential to revolutionize regional air travel by providing greater flexibility and cost-effectiveness. Its development highlights Airbus's commitment to providing innovative solutions to the aviation industry's evolving needs and challenges. Number 5. The A320 overtook the 737 as the most sold modern aircraft. Airbus's A320 family has sold more units than Boeing's 737 family, making it the most sold modern aircraft. In 2019, Airbus moved ahead of Boeing in orders, and with the 737 MAX problems, Airbus is catching up on deliveries too. Despite the competition, both Airbus and Boeing play critical roles in the aviation industry driving innovation and advancements in technology. The competition between these two giants has led to significant advancements in aircraft design, manufacturing, and safety, benefiting the industry as a whole. Number 4. The A320 was the first fly-by-wire aircraft. 
Fly-by-wire technology replaced manual hydraulic controls with electronic controls, and Airbus was the first manufacturer to introduce it. The A320, launched in 1987, was the first fly-by-wire aircraft, and has since been used on all Airbus aircraft. The technology has significantly contributed to improving the safety and efficiency of Airbus planes, making them more reliable and precise. Its development and implementation highlight Airbus's commitment to innovation and excellence in aviation technology. Number 3. All Airbus Cockpits Are The Same Airbus has always emphasized the importance of commonality between aircraft. Since the A320's introduction, Airbus has used an almost identical cockpit layout across both narrow-body and wide-body aircraft. This has enabled pilots to be rapidly trained to fly new types and switch between aircraft for greater fleet flexibility. It has also made maintenance and upkeep simpler and more cost-effective for airlines. The emphasis on commonality and simplicity is a testament to Airbus's commitment to providing efficient and reliable aircraft for its customers. Number 2. The A300 was the first twin-engine wide-body aircraft. The A300 was Airbus's first aircraft and was the first twin-engine wide-body aircraft. Unlike Boeing's first jets, which had four or more engines, the A300 was more economical and entered service in 1974. Although it was initially intended for European flights, it eventually operated transatlantic flights as well. The A300 has played a significant role in the success of Airbus and set the precedent for the company's future wide-body aircraft. Its development highlights the company's focus on efficiency and innovation, paving the way for further advancements in aviation technology. Number 1. Airbus started as a collaboration between European countries Airbus, a major manufacturer of narrow-body and wide-body commercial aircraft, has competed with Boeing since the 1970s, forming a dominant duopoly in the market. However, what else stands out about this successful company and its aircraft? Airbus started in 1970 as a Europe-wide program with government backing. The company was formed by several European manufacturers to take on the larger U.S. manufacturers, including Boeing, and develop its first aircraft, the A300, to compete with Boeing's popular jets. This collaboration has continued to this day, with Airbus planes being manufactured across multiple countries in Europe. The company's history and development highlight the importance of collaboration and cooperation in the aviation industry, and how this can lead to groundbreaking innovations and advancements. In conclusion, Airbus is a major player in the commercial aircraft market known for its innovative and pioneering spirit, versatility, and adaptability to changing market demands. Its collaborations with European countries, development of twin-engine wide-body aircraft, and introduction of fly-by-wire technology have been significant advances in the aviation industry. Airbus's Beluga XL cargo transport aircraft and its foray into zero-emission aircraft further underscore its focus on efficiency, innovation, and sustainability. As we've seen, Airbus's success is driven by its commitment to excellence and innovation. We hope you've enjoyed learning these 10 interesting facts about Airbus and its aircraft. If you're a fan of aviation or want to stay up to date on the latest developments in the industry, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.